Hi, I'm Andy from Dimension Data, and I want to talk to you today about technology lifecycle management. Why, I hear you ask. Well, not only are organisations wasting money, but they're leaving themselves wide open to unnecessary security risks and non-compliance. Today, our short presentation highlights how you can identify the threats and opportunities for your IT infrastructure and how a technology lifecycle approach can help you manage both cost and risk. Don't miss out on our range of technology lifecycle management resources and our network barometer report that you can download at the end of this presentation. So let me begin by asking you this. Did you know that most organisations are either paying for support on devices they haven't actually got, or because of inventory drift, there may be devices that organisations are not even aware of? If this is the case, these devices may not be supported or up to date with patching. The same organisations are also losing revenue from unnecessary downtime and tend to have overcomplicated vendor arrangements. Even with costs aside, when you look into the risks, our network barometer report shows that three out of four network devices have at least one known security vulnerability. Organisations that do not have a way to keep track of every device are opening themselves up to huge risk due to security breaches and fines for non-compliance. Why is this the case? Click on the bottom right-hand corner of your page to follow me and find out. Let's use the example of networking. Most organisations' networks have, quite simply, grown out of control. But how do they get to this point? Let's take a look. Networks have been around 50 years. It all started with analogue, but a few years later that was stripped out and completely replaced by the next advancement, digital. As quickly as technology moves on, digital was then completely replaced by multiplexes and proprietary systems. In the 1990s, X25 came along, which was followed by ATM and Frame Relay. The last big advancement was when everything moved to IP over 12 years ago, and there hasn't been a next big thing since. Looking at the future, IPv6 and cloud will have an impact on how networks need to be managed. Over the last 12 years, there have been so many changes in how we live and work and how we expect the network to cope with this. It used to be just computers and standard network devices connected to the network, but everything's changed and anything and everything can now connect to an IP network. More and more applications and devices such as voice over IP, video, CCTV systems, even fridges, and that's not forgetting the threat of hackers and security breaches. The pressures on the corporate network have increased dramatically and it's still based on that original IP network installed over 12 years ago. Let alone the numerous moves, additions and changes on top, quite simply, the network has had to become all things to all people, applications and services. But there is a solution. Come with me, it's time to take control. Don't forget to click on the bottom right hand corner of your page. OK, so what we need is a pragmatic approach. The key to getting back in control of your IT infrastructure is to think in terms of the technology life cycle and take a technology life cycle management, or TLM, approach. When we talk about IT infrastructure, we mean everything, including servers, storage, unified and visual communications, security devices, software and networking. So what do we mean by a life cycle approach and how does it help? A technology lifecycle management approach to your IT infrastructure refers to a process which assists in the management, coordination, control, delivery and support of the devices in an IT infrastructure throughout every stage of their life cycle, from creation to obsolescence. This should not just be viewed as a project to implement once or annually, but a continuous process that needs to be ongoing to stay in control. So how do you put this into practice? Well, earlier we talked about how the TLM approach affects the network, and so let's take that example further. First you need to gain visibility of the facts to enable you to understand the size and nature of your problem. Then you'll need to undertake some analysis to work out statistics, such as what devices are on the network, where they are in the life cycle, what their support status is, their vulnerability to security threats, whether they meet your organisation's or industry's obligations for compliance to regulations. And outside of networking, you'd also need to consider licensing. 
So now you have the facts, but what does this raw data mean in the real world? That's where the Network Barometer Report comes in, so that you can benchmark or baseline your organization's current status against others in your industry. You'll be able to download the full report and summary results on the next page. Follow me to the final page to find out how you can take control. You know what to do. The next step is to take action. Now you're armed with statistics on your organisation and how this compares in the real world, you can put together a plan of action. From your analysis, you will see there are some immediate issues that will need to be taken care of, such as security, support and licensing. There will also be some quick wins that can be resolved simply to save your organisation time and money, such as right-sizing your service levels. The remainder will be a mix of one-off projects and continuous projects that will need a life cycle plan approach. The most important part of this stage is implementing a continuous review and improvement plan. If you adopt a good life cycle approach going forward, you should never have an infrastructure that's out of control again. This is by far the hardest stage and you may choose to seek professional assistance with a partner that has experience of life cycle management. In summary, to regain control of your infrastructure, you need to conduct fact-finding and analysis for your organisation, benchmark these results with your peers, and then put in place an action plan that addresses not only immediate and long-term issues, but also a continuous process of review and improvement. In doing this, the technology lifecycle management approach will help you to manage your costs and risk. Over the last three years, Dimension Data have performed nearly 1,000 TLM assessments for organisations globally and have been recognised by Cisco with the prestigious award of Borderless Partner of the Year specifically for our technology lifecycle management assessment. As promised, you can download our range of TLM resources by clicking this button. Click here for resources specifically related to a TLM approach to the network you can also view a copy of our network barometer report to find out if your network is ready for business by clicking here. To share this publication with a colleague, click here. Alternatively, if you'd like to contact us, click here. We'd like to thank you for taking the time to listen and we look forward to speaking with you soon.